Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn how to test our view child with a HTML input elements. Already, I have explained about the view child with our HTML elements in our Angular tutorials. I will provide the link in the description. Please watch that for better understanding. Here, let me go into the Visual Studio code. And here we have created app.component.html and also one input field and another input field and a paragraph. I have created a hash variable for this first input field and whenever our application loads this has to be focused and this has to be ignored so that is where the view child is used. Let me go into app.component.ts and if you see here we have used sample and change styles whenever our application is loaded this change styles hash variable should have a color of red so let me show you the demo first let me quickly jump into browser here if you see i am targeting this no focus and whenever i reload this application it went to the first focus that means on a page load the focus is going to the first element that is nothing but a sample hash variable and also on the load itself we are using a color hi this is para so now these are the two types of test cases which we need to complete in this video let me go to the visual studio code and let's test all the scenarios let me go to spec.ts and here let me create two variables one is let fixture which is of type component fixture and of type app component and let component instance colon app component this is of type app component and now we are not using any other dependencies so just create the fixture fixture is equal to we have something called as test bed dot create component and which component it is app component so let me create app component fixture now let me assign our component instance which is created from our fixture component instance is equal to fixture dot component instance this will give the instance of that particular component so first testing is it description where first input field should be focused comma even when we have multiple same hash variables so for example if you see we have multiple variables if you go to the html here sample and here is also a sample but we are using a view child as per our discussion in the angular tutorials so the view child will only focus on the first hash variable and will ignore all the remaining hash variables if there is same hash variable in this case our test scenario is this input field should be in the focused state and this should not be in the focus state let me go to the spec file and now inside the callback function let me detect this fixture fixture dot detect changes and once the detect changes is done then fixture dot whenever it is stable then i'll get a callback function and inside this callback function what we need to check we need to check whether the element is focused or not so now our element should be focused only with this so id is equal to first element and also let me use something called as id is equal to second element second element and now whenever you have set of fields only one element can focus at one time so either of this element should be focused but as per our logic the first element should be focused so how we can do that so document dot active element so active element will give you what is the active element which we have so for example let me expect the active element dot id so active element will generally give you a element which is active and in this case the first element should be active and let me add a question mark to this because the element may or may not exist so that is the reason i am adding a question mark and this should be equal to two equal of the id what is my id here the first element is my id let me copy and paste here this is the first case which we are trying to cover so that whenever the element is active or focused then that id whatever the id we are having that is first element which will be equal to your first element and the next expectation is expect of document dot active element dot id should not be equal that means not equal 
of the second element it should not be equal to the second elements id let me pass here and save this so let me go to the next terminal and run ng test so it is running ng test and this time we are getting the first input field is focused and the second input field is ignored and it has been passed successfully let's go to the next scenario the next scenario is this paragraph element whenever the application is loaded this paragraph has to be in red color so let's test that for testing it let me add one id for this like para underscore element is my id let me save this go to the spec file and write it on load the para should be in red color and let me have a callback function inside this callback function let me detect the changes fixture dot detect changes and whenever this fixture is stable then i'll get a callback function which is a promise and inside this callback function let me get the element first para underscore element colon which is of type html paragraph element and equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my selector it's a id so hash and pass this para element to this hash variable and now you are able to get this paragraph whenever you get this paragraph our expectation is on the load of the application my paragraph should have a style of color red so dot to equal of red color and let me save this now it has been passed the two test cases has been passed successfully so this indicates not only these two test cases it also indicates that you have to call your elements on after view in it if you go to the app.component.ts we have called all this logic inside our ng after view in it hence it proves that ng after view in it is also invoked and this test case is also covered in this particular view child tutorial video hope this gave you a knowledge how to test the view child for a particular html elements in our next video we'll try to test view child with a angular component itself whenever you have an another angular component how you can test that by using a view child and also i want to let you know about techzet TechZet is a platform on Medium where you can learn all the backend stuff. Mainly it is focused on the Adobe experience management, Magento as well as OSGI along with the basics of Java and you can see this link framework completely. So just have a click on the link below in the description and have a look on this Medium blog. If you like, please like, share, follow Media blog. Hope you like my explanation. If you like my video, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.